The most famous of the Fauves is going to be Matisse. Now, he was a primary figure for the Fauve movement, and he believed that color could play a primary role in conveying meaning and focused his efforts on developing this premise. Now, it sounds very scientific, and that's exactly what it is. He's making a hypothesis, and he's pursuing it. That's a very strong way to understand a lot of what we're going to be looking at, whether it's Fauvism, Cubism, Futurism, or other movements. Now, the piece we're going to start with when we talk about Matisse is going to be Woman with a Hat. Now, compositionally, it's a very conventional piece. There's not that much that has changed from the classical form. And remember, I'm not talking about color yet. Strictly composition. After all, when we look at it, it's a half view of a seated woman wearing a hat. Nothing all that surprising. But we do see a jarring use of color and contrast in this depiction of his wife. And you see Matisse and his wife there. Now, the painting is done shortly after they're married. And you can only imagine the conversation that would be had the first time he shows it to her. Now, what exactly are you looking at? Well, it's a very sketchy form. It's really a psychological portrait. And we're not quite down the road of the insane woman, which you see here by Giracolt. What he's trying to do is capture his wife's psychology. We see color being used as a formal unifying element, but also to give us a story about who she is. So who is she? Well, let's look at it. As we look at the face, we see certain colors that start to stand out. We have pink, giving us a sense of the feminine. Yellow, which tends to be a cheerful color, a happy color. Orange, as in the hair, the neck, and the face. She's probably a very passionate person. The green can mean growth, but it can also mean envy. Blue, a sense of sadness or a sense of calm, really could go either way. And the face is what he sees, what he believes she is or who he believes she is. Now, if we move to the clothing, when you think about the function of clothing, it's to hide us from society, hide our bodies. And so he's using it in those terms. This is what she shows to the world. You'll notice a lot of white a lot of innocence. We see no white here, but of course the relationship is different between the public and his wife versus Matisse and his wife. You'll see we have a greater use of pinks getting across that feminine. The green again makes an appearance as well as the blue. And the dress doesn't actually address any of the local color that would be there. We have no idea what the dress actually would have looked like. You'll notice that she's got this very odd hand. In other words, she probably has different forms that she wears in public, almost as if she wears multiple masks. And that's not really that surprising either. I mean, after all, we all do it. You're a different person in front of, say, your professor than you are in front of your parents or in front of your peers or even in front of different groups of peers. And so we're seeing that in this arm that's cut up that's made up of so many colors. And she's got this odd sort of reptilian hand. Of course, the hand isn't that important to Matisse, so he's simply uh, taking it and abstracting it. He's simplifying the form. The hat gives us uh, some sense of who she is, but there may be a sense of realism here. And the background colors are chosen as contrast to pull out the colors that we see in the face. And you'll see the same colors used in the face as in the background. And you'll notice he puts, for example, orange and blue near to each other, or sort of a red and a green near to each other. He's trying to make his colors and his choices stand out. Now, according to Matisse, what characterized Fauvism was that we reject imitative color and that we obtained stronger reactions. And Arguably, he does. He's captured something that the camera cannot. He's captured his wife's psychology, who she is at a very deep level, what her character is, something that we rarely, if ever, see in portraiture. 